exciting news. Underwriter um, from here at Trobo.live. So today we're going to go ahead and learn about the uh, new streamer panels. Um, there's a whole bunch of new features that have come to Trovo. Um, one being uh, the most sought after, which is uh, streamer panels. Uh, the ability to customize your About Me area, um, the info area of the uh, streamer page itself. Uh, so we're going to dive into this today and I'm going to show you um, one where to locate it, how to kind of get started with the panels, and then I got two awesome uh, free uh, programs uh, that you can easily use off of the uh, website, um, or I'm sorry, you can easily use off of the internet, and uh, that will help you uh, create these panels. Um, so uh, stay tuned guys, and uh, hopefully uh, this is uh, pretty helpful for you. And don't you forget to, uh, you know, down below, hit that bell. Be sure to subscribe, hit that uh, that like, share these videos if you do like the content we provide. Um, we're thinking of uh, changing this to a certain playlist uh, name, either uh, Ganja's Gadgets or uh, Ganja Fix It. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, should it be Ganja Gadgets or should it be Ganja Fix It? It'll be a special episode playlist um, when we do all of our tutorials. Uh, that would be kind of like our little motto here so who knows um can't wait to hear from you guys but uh let's go ahead and dive in and uh get started Hey everyone, perfect. So we have got you logged in here. So this would be your uh, your Trovo uh, main page. And as the uh, the slide had shown, you just scroll down here to your info section. Oops, right over here. You have your videos, your network, but we're just gonna go to info. And then to the right hand side, you'll see a little pencil that says edit my panel. I'm gonna open up a little separate area so we can start actually editing our different panels here. So as you see, I have one uh, that's for my uh, stream team, uh, Team Life, our socials here, uh, for Revolution, which is uh, our partnership as well for entertainment. Uh, this is for, you know, our uh, donations. You have uh, any charity or extra life, you know, event that's currently going on, your rules about me, favorite games, and then some other, you know, uh, socials here. But, all right, perfect. So the custom panel here, after you click the edit my panel, you'll be displayed with this. And of course, based on your uh, resolution of your screen can alter this and how it looks too. Currently, you're looking at it, it's 100% resolution on my end. But they have some uh, panels here, the About Me, Favorite Games, Social Link, Schedule, and Image, and Text. The Social Link here, when you click that, that's what this is. Any links you all already have previously linked to Trovo will automatically display here. Um, if you'd like to edit them, just click it. They have uh, medium and small size. Small size would then be scrollable. Here also you can either choose just to have a color or an image, which would be already like a designed uh, um, header here. 
So the color by standard, you can put an actual title in there. And as you see, it's going to display here. We have ours currently set to image, and that's what I'm going to show you as well. Uh, the two little uh, softwares that I use to create those, if you don't have them uh, for your panels. And then background style as well can be this, or you can also have it as a background image if you pre-design out um, and totally want to like delete these out of here. You can get pretty creative in this actually. So then once you were done, uh, have your links put in here. Go ahead and hit save. And if you want to see what it looks like, hit finish, and it's going to show you what it looks like here. So yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, start showing you a little bit more dive-in details, um, how to get some of these created, and uh, as far as like your, uh, your own panels too. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. We have it now. You can, uh, you know, uh, make your own panels and uh, show them off to everyone. Like my favorite games are here. Uh, which are games that you like on Trovo. Um, this is for Stream Raiders. You have actually have it set up. You click it. Um, my bot referral link uh, for Batissimo, which is an amazing chatbot. This here is just created for my extra life that's going on. And then so like for our team one, we have it as an image. Then if you'd like, you can click on over and actually check out our entire team. Um, so I should show you uh, as well how to do that. So on that, you just click edit, which is the pencil. So we have it set up as, you know, what your title is. It's currently just a colored header. That is a medium size. It could be small. It could be large. But ours best designed out for a medium size. And then it's going to ask for an image link uh, where you want it to go ahead and go when people click it. So we put in the link for the Willow site. Go ahead and hit save. Finish. And that's where people go ahead and just click and they can see our whole team. Um, pretty convenient, pretty awesome little tools that we have now. Same with my Stream Raiders. It's linked up to take you directly to my Stream Raider site. Um, and then same with the Batissimo. It's linked up to take you directly to the uh, Batissimo sign-up. Which, definitely if you sign up with the sponsorship program, guys, um, it pays for itself. So it actually then becomes a uh, free... Uh, you know, a uh, bot to be used. Um, definitely check it out, it's pretty awesome. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and show you the uh, two sites that I had listed um, to go ahead and uh, that are free. You, they're uh, web browser based as well. Don't need to download anything. Um, but in order to create your own panels that look, you know, like this, um, it's an image you'll upload that's already designed out. Um, the site does offer pre-designed ones and then the ability for you to customize. Um, I'm showing you two because one has certain features, the others don't, and um, some have icons that others don't, just kind of based on what you're looking for, you know, and how you wanted to design out and uh, make your panel look. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. You want to go over here to uh, nerdordie.com. And Nerd or Die, um, a lot of streamers are probably familiar with it. If not, if you're new to streaming, um, it is an awesome uh, resource site to check out. There is some free uh, useful tools on there. Uh, being this, uh, of course, you know, Twitch was the primary. They call it the Twitch Panel Maker um, and Template. They have a video guide to kind of guide you through as well if you need a little bit more further detail. But we're going to kind of make it a little simple for you. So here, these are free templates. And then the Twitch Panel Maker. Um, they have other things as well, too. If you need some ideas, you can check over here, click that. And it explains, you know, what are Twitch panels, or what are panels in general, we'll just say. Um, or extensions that allow a live streamer to customize their About section on their streamer page. And so these are the uh, free uh, Twitch panels. You can click these. And it's going to show you what they kind of look like. 
So if you want to use some of their already pre-designed ones, save you the hassle, download them, boom, as you see it's free. Just hit the add to cart, proceed with the checkout. All right, you scroll down further. Now if you didn't want to even scroll down, just clicking on it, get started, takes you immediately here. And then Twitch Panel Maker will take you immediately down here. So right here, it's all on a website. You don't have to, you know, download anything. Um, again, the link to their video guide is right here. Um, so to go ahead and customize one out, this is what it's going to look like over here. As you see, Nerd or Die is the website that we're using. Your text right here you can change. So let's say, About Me. Your uh, font, you can also alter right here, change it up, different designs. Now keep in mind the size of the font, you can adjust as well too. So that about me there. Now if it was too small, or uh, you know, real small, you can make it larger. Obviously that's going across the banners or the uh, panel size, so you need to make sure it fits within the screen and based on how you want the look to be. Um, if it's not thick enough or too thick, your font weight over here, you can reduce that down on certain fonts. Otherwise on others, see how it's making it thicker, like a more highlighted out text. So again, based on how you kind of want the look um, or design of yours to be, if you don't even want an icon, you can disable that. It's just standard panel itself. The icon as well here um, is where you can adjust the size of it, larger, smaller. And they also have the option to pick pre-designed out icons. A lot of these you will already recognize, like Extra Live, there's Facebook, um, you have the like, you know, the heart. Scroll down, you got controller symbols, PlayStations. You have uh, Twitches there, there's Twitter, uh, Xbox, YouTube, um, Snapchat, Spotify, Steam. So, you know, you have a lot of them already here. And if you're not too sure, just type in Steam. And then obviously it'll take you to it. Or, you know, Facebook, um, like, subscribe. Oh, that's not there, is it? So it'd be just YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. Let's say we make it for YouTube, and it's going to go ahead and change that there. Now, if you have uh, pre-designed out PNGs, you can hit the Choose File area here, um, which will then open up a uh, separate area where you then can uh, actually, uh, let's see. Um, let's go ahead and do one for uh, our life, uh, team life, because uh, I do have that as a... Uh, as a PNG file designed out. So if you want to get real fancy and customize these yourself, you can. This is actually pretty awesome. So you would go ahead and click that. And as you see, that is our Team Life logo. It's designed out. If you uh, have different logos, now it's going to take the basic shape of that PNG or that image file. So I have a heart one here, um, but it's you see it's a square. So the basic file is a square background. It's going to take that as priority. So keep that in mind. I do have another one that's just a heart. So uh, you can get pretty crafty with this. So like Revolution, we have one set for, you know. Um, and uh, so now it could be designed out. You want to add special effects to it, which is like the shadow icon angle. We can switch that. Circle it around whenever high you want it to look. We'll keep it like the 40-ish, 45 degree angle. Um, if you want to have a border added to it, you can increase the percentage of the radius. So if you don't want it square, round it out. Even smaller, you can make it a little bit more uh, edgier looking. If you actually want to add a little bit of a border, your width here is where you'll do that. And it's going to actually increase it, but we'll actually show you the color is all in one section. So background, uh, color, uh, you have the icon color, text color, um, the icon itself can be colored. So what we're going to do, since um, their colors are black and white, 
go ahead and change that to um, a whole black icon. And we're going to do the background icon color as a whole white one. The shadow effect adds in there. And we'll change this. Revolution, as you see, it's too big. We'll bring it down just a little bit here. That's pretty nice. And if it wasn't the right angling, um, or too high, too low, that's where this is going to come in at. So even like your panel, the height and stuff of it too. Um, your text, horizontal position, left and right, about there. If you wanted it um, down or up a little bit more, you can do that too. The icon as well can be moved horizontally more, offset. And then as well as your vertical for the icons. And then if we want the uh, text background color, we can change that to something. Have it as a blue background. Um, the icon background color, of course, is what we altered already. The icon color itself. Uh, the icon shadow effects. You can actually change those too if you want those to be a color. Kind of help try to make your picture pop a little bit more. Something like that, you know, pretty neat. And then border color. So let's say if you wanted to have like a red border on it. See how it's real thin? That is where uh, our border width comes in. So it's just barely highlighting it. Originally it was none. You can make it as thick as you want, you know, to a certain degree. And it can kind of just create a little bit more definition um, to that for you. We can round it out a little bit more now. And perfect finish this when you're done you can actually save the uh, image panel right here and you just click save as you see it's going to go ahead and put it into generally your download section you would open that file up and then it would be wherever your downloads are um, you would grab that file from the second site is visuals by impulse pretty awesome site very useful tools um great site to check out um veteran and new streamers alike we'll just scroll down again i'll have both of these websites uh links in the description down below so visuals by impulse pretty simple pretty self-explanatory as well your title here if you'd like to change it as you can see it's too big Scroll your uh, font size. Oops. Oh, okay. So I just learned something. They limit your size here, uh, your wording. So let's go ahead and about me. Make it there. This one has cool, it's a little subtitle. So like for my rules, um, I created was rules with a subtitle. Be sure to read before you chat. And you can make that a little bit bigger too for people to see. Just something pretty neat, you know. Um, if I want to change that, different font styles, same with your title, font family. This one I do kind of like because it shows you the font ahead of time what it's going to look like. Again, your position. X is your hor uh, you know, left and right. Y is your up and down. Let's switch that back. <laughs> Liked a little bit right there. There we go. Same with your icon. They have, uh, this is where you can't design your own icons. It's just whatever they have enlisted. 
which they have a ton of pre-done ones. So if you're really not sure what you're looking, you can scroll down and see all the cool little icons they have pre-installed uh, for you. Um, otherwise, you can click here for the search. So if you want Facebook, you have different ones for Facebook. Um, if you want Twitter, different ones for the Twitter. Instagram, you know. For the most part, I think they have all of them. Patreon. Um, I think they even have like PayPal. Oops. Yeah, PayPal icon, uh, TikTok, Snapchat, you know. Let's see, stop sign, do they have that? Yeah, we'll do our design as a stop sign. The size of it, we can make it a little bit bigger. Again, if you want to change the color here, we can do so. Make it a little bit red. Then it has it, you know, the background area. Um, if you wanted to create a texture to it, this is one thing I do like about the background textures um, from Visuals by Impulse. Like I said, certain ones have different ones. So you can alternate your texture, which is pretty cool. That's camouflage. You got pastel, um, finger paint, wavy. Um, aromatic, see how it adds a little effect on top there. Like paint splatter. And then it will also alter the background colors. You got to keep that in mind too, based on your design. You can change the font color to match then afterwards. Pretty neat ones though. I really enjoy the, this particular feature um, from them, which I think is really neat. And then if you wanted to add an additional overlay to it, say it's Christmas time, add some Christmas lights just to add that little extra touch, you know? Um, snow falling on it. Pretty cool little things you can get pretty creative with. Um, Again, based on how it is, it will alter the look of your page, so you gotta keep that in mind. Uh, what it will cover up, possibly. <laughs> A jungle floor design, you know. If you wanna change that color, you can as well. Alter it from something else. Um, let's say we want it to be blue. You know, pink. Pretty cool, you know. Like I said, I really enjoy this one too. Um, they have some pretty neat features on both. And then again, you would go ahead and hit download panel. That's going to download it to wherever you want it to go. Um, the one thing on here they don't have is like how you round it out. These are all going to be squared off, um, unfortunately. So again, the other one has a couple advantages with customizations of icons. This one has some advantages of some pretty neat um, overlays and backgrounds uh, for you to mess around with too. Um, but then you go to your page here, once you have that set in, uh, <clears throat> you can then go ahead and actually add them into your thing. Free awesome software to go ahead and uh, create panels if you don't have some. So no panels, no worries. Alright, now you have your panel created and you are ready to go ahead and add that to your page. We're back on the edit panels. We did it for Revolution. I'm going to go ahead and click it, make sure we're in the image area for it. And where that's going to be located is actually going to be in the header itself. Um, generally, by default, it's going to be color. We want to switch that to the image. And we're going to go ahead and replace image. Now that's showing you what it already looks like here. Um, the current image that I do have set in, we're going to go ahead and upload an image. Have it located under downloads. I'm going to go ahead and click that file. Click open. It's going to be here. If it's not the right size, you can zoom in a little bit, zoom out. Generally, it's going to be, you know, the correct size for the most part but it does make it a little too small on the edges. I mean, unless you like the look of it, go ahead and hit done. 
as you can see, let's get the opacity of it up. And we're going to make sure to remove that title. And then see, it doesn't fit across the whole screen. So that's where uh, Paint 3D comes in. Most uh, Windows computers has it already in there. You just go ahead to your file section here, and you would type in Paint 3D, or you can go to where you have that file, click the image in your downloads or wherever you have it saved. You're going to right click it, edit with Paint 3D. That will actually take you here. You're going to see the image. You can see your canvas size. So you see it had saved it as a 320 by 85. We already know that the uh, image size requirement is 400 by 68. And that does not change for the header size, small, medium, or large. That's a standard header size. So the simplest way is to click on Canvas. Click that. You want to make sure your lock aspect ratio is not checked. Otherwise, it will not let you get this specific. 400. Switch this. 68. See how it thins it down now too? Now keep this in mind as well. If it doesn't look accurate or how you want it, you can go back and redesign it. So then when you do this little shrink, it makes it look a little bit better, not kind of smushed. Once you have that done, you would hit menu. Gonna go ahead and either save or save as image and name it whatever you have it as. If it's the same image name, just keep it. We'll mark over the old file. Replace that. Beautiful. So back here, under your panels, as you see now, let's go ahead and replace that with our new image. Same area where you had it located, add it in. Now there's no sizing needed. Again, if it was not the right, you can get zoomed in. But these come out perfect when you design them this way, um, or set the size this way. Hit save. Now it's going to cover, see, the whole screen now. So that's just an easy way to uh, get specific with the uh, specifications of the size requirements for your uh, PNGs uh, for the headers. And same thing with your images. So a small one here is 400 by 152. A medium is 400 by 320. And a large one is going to be 400 by 656. The large one is like what my About Me is. And then when you're done, make sure to hit Save. Fit. All right, you're done and finished. See how it looks. And there you go. You got your uh, new fancy looking about me created. Again, you can get awesome um, designs going, you know, get really unique with your, your creations uh, with both those tools. Um, but yeah, so go ahead and have fun designing, guys. Um, enjoy creating, and I appreciate you guys taking time to be here. Time is so uh, precious, and I appreciate you stopping in today. Again, if you like these videos, um, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments what other kind of... Uh, how-to videos you'd like to see for Trovo. Um, go ahead and, you know, please subscribe if you like to, and uh, share this video out to your friends. Thank you so much for taking your time to be here. I hope this video was uh, uh, super uh, helpful for you guys, and if you'd like to see more of these videos, be sure to check us out when we go live at Trovo.live, and let me know in the comments down below what you like. Happy streams, happy dreams, everyone. You all are amazing. Thank you for your time.